Hello and welcome to Viva News with me, Barnaby Cheese Spanner. Tonight we begin with news of a worrying new trend emerging within DJ Magazine's Top 100 DJ poll. Findings from scientists at the Institute of Good Music, Guzik, have revealed that the average clubber hasn't even heard of 90% of the DJs in the Top 100 poll. So to find out what's really going on, we sent in our own news ferret, Mandy McCharley. Here she is. I'm here in the quiet, leafy suburbs of Hampstead, not where you might expect to find the residents of one of the world's top DJs, but you'd be wrong, according to DJ Magazine's Top 100 DJ Poll. DJ Facebender has remained in the top 10 since the poll began, but why has no one ever heard of this man? I'm going in to find out. <coughs> DJ Facebender, I'm from Viva... With signs that something is clearly amiss in the house of the face bender, we take the cue to pounce. Where's the record today, Glenn? 20,000 votes today. Come on, love, let's push through. Let's push on through. Come on, you're missing your finger. Come on, back to work, love. Come on. It is estimated that almost half of the DJ magazine's top 100 DJs have enslaved their grandmothers to days of repeated voting. Are you sure you're going to win oh, this contest? Gran, of course I'm going to win. If you do what I say, I will win, love. Don't you worry about that. Now it's refresh, yeah? According to the recent survey, scenes like this are becoming all too common. You stay doing that now. I'll be back about 14 hours, all right? <laughs> Oi! Come back! What are you doing in my house? Come back here, you! She wants to vote for me, all right? She's very loyal, she's just my grand. So, to prevent the rise of others like DJ Facebender, it's no wonder that music fans want to get out there and do something about it. This is Mandy McCharley reporting for Viva News. Okay, well, thank you, Mandy. We can now cross over to Professor Finkel Slingerbottom Cleft at uh, Guzik HQ, where scientists have been working on a cure for this most heinous miscarriage of justice. Professor, what could be done to combat these DJ charlatans? Well, Sir Barnaby, the conclusion to our report was quite interesting, really. Basically, the solution to the problem is for people to get out there and vote for their favorite DJs. For too long, people have been sitting around doing nothing with their time, and now we arrive at the situation. Well, thank you, Professor, there you have it. You music lovers clearly need to get out there and vote. The findings speak for themselves. And here's a selection of real talent for you to choose from. That is it. Get out there and vote. Thank you for joining us. And remember, Viva La Viva!